I have quite a haul for you guys today. And if I keep looking over here, it's because um, my windows are open. There are people outside, and I feel like they can see me. Even though from the angle I'm at, I doubt it, that they can. And by people, I mean that's my apartment manager. But anyway, the family, um, I'm going to show you the non rush things I bought first. Because, you know, this is mostly a Lush haul. I went to, if you didn't see the vlog that should have been up, maybe the day before this one, not really sure, filming both of them on the same day. This is the same shirt from Chicago, I don't care, I'm very lazy to put the same shirt back on, but anyway, first few items are from the body shop, and here's the bag, and I only got two little items, well, not too little. Um, first one I got was Tea Tree Skin Clearing Foaming Cleanser. Here you go. Yeah, I just wanted to try a new face cleanser. I wanted a foaming one because they're supposed to be like more gentle and try and take it easy on my on my skin. It's like I last me for a while, so I can grow my new one. Anyway. And the next one, um, the, the lady who came up to us and greeted us in the store, you know, wanted to sell stuff, but <coughs> she had us smell these new, like, face mask things, and, you know, they were in a jar, and she put some on the back of Heather's hand and made her try that out, but not me, I wasn't into that. But the third one she made us smell was this one called Himalayan Charcoal. And Heather got the, like, the little pot, which was, like, way too much for me, personally. But they had little, these little samples up by the register for much cheaper. And, I mean, who knows if it's going to work well, if I'm even going to like it, so. I got the little sample. And it smells like eucalyptus and something else. I can't really remember. It doesn't say on here. So, I'll give that a try. Maybe I'll, like, film that, because... Why not? And the only other place I bought things was from Claire's. They have their cute little things there. And they bought me a little flower crown. It's got little pink petals and these little gold leaves. I love flower crowns and the one I made is too uncomfortable. This one, I kind of forgot it was like actually a store for children, but I like things too. It's, it's a little small. I mean, cause my ponytail's up really high and it won't go down all the way, but... There, I got a flower crown. Oh, it won't sit very well. And the other two things I got were both the same thing. I got these little mystery pushing box things, cause I love pushing each really adorable. I already opened them, so I can just show you. There's a cat sniffing my foot right now. Hi. I got this little one with the cupcake. It's so cute. It's so adorable. And the other one I got was this one in the teacup. They're both so cute. And here's the, the ones you can get. They were having a good sale at Claire's, but I didn't really get any of that item. Just got what I wanted. So, now I'm into the stuff everybody wants to see, and I hope I don't run out of space. If I do, I'll make more. But, um,. I wrote everything down. Hold on. I had to do like research because I forgot the names of everything and I wanted to know like what specifically the scents were. So I had, I went to their website and wrote everything down and I think you should just get to it. I'm going to do bubble bars first and then bath bombs and every. There's like two other things that weren't either of those. The first one I got is called Rose Jam. It looks like a little pink macaroon. These are all, these are bubble bars. I got three of them. And the scent is Turkish Rose. Like I went into their detailed description and it's just rose. Everything is rose. And it smells like rose. So. It smells like really intense concentrated rose but still. And it's all pretty and glittery. That's why I I opened the window for natural light so you guys can actually see the, 
colors, the glitter and everything. That was the only ones in my bathtub. And my hands are going to be like absolutely filthy by the time I'm done with this. Which is why I chose to just stay in my pajamas, basically, because they're just going to go in the wash anyway. Right after I'm done with this. So. Next is called... Oh boy. This one's going to get all over everything. It's called Sunnyside. And it looks like a completely rose glitter, like rainbow, rainbow, like a golden raindrop. I don't want to hold this for too long. It's called, oh, it's like that. It's tangerine and lemon. And bubble bars are reusable. And oh my god. <laughs> That's going to be all over me when I put it in the bath. And I'm actually like second guessing that one. But I saw, you know, something shiny and gold, and I had to get it, so I did, and no one was there to restrain me, Heather didn't care, she was buying her own stuff. Yeah, that's all over. Now it's going on to my shorts, I'm wiping it off onto my shorts. My shorts are now gold, everything in this general area will be gold for a month, and I'm okay with it. And the last bubble bar I got is called Karma, and unfortunately, it kind of rubbed off inside the bag. Just a little tiny bit, you guys probably noticed. And here's what it looks like. It also has some gold on it. It looks like if you're tripping on acid and you're looking at the pyramids, this is probably what you'd see. And this scent is patchouli and lemongrass. So, that's also all over my fingers. Yeah, this just smelled like incense when I spun and I love incense, so I had to get it. Mm. Like, it saddens me that just like the tiniest little bit rubbed up onto the bag, but those are the three bubble bars I got. Now for, I got five words, bath bombs. <laughs> oh boy. And this one... This one is Dragon's Egg. Pretty sure. I couldn't find like the exact match to the colors on the website, but I do remember getting Dragon's Egg, so like, you know, that has to be it. That's the closest one. And it has the blue and pink all over it, and the scent is lemon and bergamot. Bergamot is, I do believe, a citrusy tree that grows like down south, like California, kind of, I think. I looked at bergamot once because I had no idea what it was, but I really like the smell of bergamot. Lemon is nice too. I just can't drink lemonade. I have acid reflux. Next is this funky looking one. Look at all the glitter on that. This one's called the Experimenter. And the scent is Vanilla and Tonka Absolutes, which I have no idea what that means. This one's huge. And when I smelled it in the storm, like, it kind of smells like burnt leaves, which isn't bad. Like, that's, it smells like a fall scent, which I'm going straight for that. You guys know what burning leaves or burning wood smells like in the fall. People are usually out burning their leaves. It's not safe, but it does smell good. That's what it reminded me of when I smelled it. So loud, I'm sorry. Mm, everything has to be in little bags. I'm so glad Heather was there with me because I was just putting bath bombs straight into the cart. Not realizing you're supposed to put them in the little bags. Then put them in the little cart. Or your little basket. And... Yeah. <laughs> Next one is called... Sex Bomb. I think it got a little rose on it. thought that was adorable. The light is fading outside because it's about to storm. So I'm sorry if this is a little dark. This one smells amazing. It's definitely, well, jasmine. The scents are jasmine, sage, and lang lang. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ylang ylang? I don't know. 
Yeah, Jasmine always smells great to me. I love the smell of Jasmine. I actually know someone named Jasmine because that's weird. And that's weird. But, yeah, this one's amazing. And on the website it says it won some kind of award. So, we'll see. I think there's a fly in here. I had maintenance people over a little earlier working on my furnace because it decided it was going to leak all over and put the little furnace room. That was fun. Anyway, next is pink. It's literally called Pink Bath Bomb. It's got the little flowers on it. I think, yeah, those are already like that when I got it. I don't really care, so. It's this called Pink Bath Bomb. So original because it's pink. And the scents are a lot like the experimenter. It's vanilla and tonka bean. And the other one was vanilla and tonka absolute. It doesn't have that burnt leaf smell like the other one, but I should maybe turn on a lamp. It's getting dark in here. Yeah, I can definitely smell vanilla. And I love vanilla. <laughs> If you guys didn't hear that, my tummy just went here. <laughs> really loud. This is so messy. Um, the last one, the last bath bomb is this yellow one. This one is called Fizz Banger. And it's supposed to be apple cinnamon. I can mostly smell the apple, which is why this confused me at first. Like, is this the right? Because I was looking up on the website, just to make sure what they were. I honestly don't even remember picking this one up. Or I think it was that candy apple. It was supposed to be candy apple. This might be the wrong one. Because one of the descriptions I read said candy apple. Or maybe I just read it wrong. I don't know. But there's an apple in this regardless. <laughs> I think it's Fizzbanger. But. I'm not entirely sure. Because I bought it at the store. I didn't buy it online. So. That was it for that part. I have three little things. Um, I have this. It's rainbow. It has the description right on it, actually. Um, Cherry lime oil mingles with calming fair trade vanilla and chamomile for a purely blissful perfume. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. And it's um, those ones that you can take these, it's basically like Play Doh. You can just play with it, shape it into mold and stuff, and then it said, it says on here that you can use it on your body and in your hair, and you can crumble it up under hot water and use this for a bubble bath. And I'm really tempted to take this out and just play with them, but I don't want to mess with them until I'm actually ready to use them. Then maybe I'll play with it a little bit. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, actually. And this is basically the last thing I bought, and I have like a little sample of something. I have no idea what it is, but, <coughs> sorry. This is a cup of coffee. It's a body and face mask, and I haven't actually smelled it. I didn't even smell it in the store. This is live on camera, first time. It smells like coffee. <laughs> Which, I like the smell of coffee beans, like coffee grounds. But actual coffee in a cup, I really... It's, it's okay, I don't, It's not my favorite, but... <coughs> sorry. I need to drink the water, but... This smells really good. It smells like coffee. And... Maybe a little chocolatey. Yeah, I think that was part of the description. It was roasted cocoa extract. Yeah. Cocoa. There's some coffee in here. Also, some vanilla. There we go. So it's coffee, vanilla, and cocoa in here. And it's a face and, it says right on there. Face and body mask. And this is just the small size. I spent enough on all this stuff. And nobody ever like really talks about the price of Lush, but it's not cheap. All of this stuff together, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I used my birthday money. I saved it. I didn't spend a single cent of my birthday money. Because I knew we were going to Lush. And all this that I just showed you cost me... Well, 
all the stuff from Lush. Just Lush cost me $94. And that's a lot. I didn't get as much as I've seen in other people's hauls. So man, that's dedication to Lush right there. If you go there and buy all this stuff all the time, I mean hopefully you actually have a job. I just use my birthday money, so no big deal. But um, I got this little, it's peppermint, I know that. It's a little sample, and they wrote down what it was. Can anybody read that? Can anybody read that handwriting and tell me what that says? Because I cannot. I have no idea what this says. It says something sour. I have no idea. But it, we saw these in the store, like in a lot bigger pieces, obviously. And it's peppermint, which I think peppermint was in the foot care stuff. But it's like, it feels like soap, you know, like it's about to melt, actually. But I, I can't read the name of it. I know the scent is peppermint, but I don't know what it is or what to use it for. I mean, I assume I can use any of this stuff as hand soap and be fine. But if anybody knows, I'll probably have to ask Heather, because I know she got one too. She probably paid more attention to the cashier than I did. But it's definitely peppermint. It smells just like twisted peppermint, if you get that from Bath and Body Works. And I know that's like vanilla and peppermint, because it's one of my favorites. So that was everything. Everything I bought other than like food and drinks and stuff. I don't think you guys want to see my, my, the contents of my stomach. I'm so weird. Anyway, that was everything. I had a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you all later. Bye! Hey guys, can you hear that? I assume that's my Kindle next to me. Watching um, Ripper play Fallout, which is no big deal. Except for the fact that all I did was turn this off to start editing. And it just turned on by itself. I did not touch it. I wasn't anywhere near it. All I did was push this. And that turned on. It was just, it was paused. He's doing a mission in Fallout, but yeah, my house is haunted. Thanks. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Time to edit some videos. Bye.